exfoliation and detox in your regimens. what's going on super excited for this video if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel welcome to another curly chemistry video today we are talking about sweat and how it affects our hair and our scalp and you guys know sweat is a fluid excreted from the eccrine glands and basically you know sweat is made up of water and salt and other chemical constituents and it's responsible for thermal regulation it regulates, you know, our body's temperature, making sure that we stay cool when we get real hot, okay? And sweat is acidic, and of course, it's induced by heat, stress, and hormones. With all that being said, let's talk about the sweat effect. Okay, so for the sake of this video, I really want us to focus on salt and lactic acid. Both of these are within sweat, okay? And online, there are a few different opinions about lactic acid and how it's the culprit in sweat and how it's so bad and so damaging, but we really have to look at lactic acid as a chemical and it is a organic acid. And lactic acid happens to be a hygroscopic ingredient meaning it is very moisturizing. It is considered a moisturizing ingredient, very similar to glycerin. On top of that, lactic acid has the ability to give you some exfoliating properties to remove dead skin cells. It's very similar to acetic acid that is an apple cider vinegar. So when it comes to like all the bad things that sweat can do, I wouldn't say it's coming from the lactic acid. I would say that it is coming from the salt within sweat. The majority of sweat um, is made up of salt, like the salty water is what you're getting. And as you guys know, water evaporates off of the hair and the scalp. So what is that going to leave? It's going to leave salt deposits on the scalp and potentially the hair as well. So when you have dirt and product buildup and oil and you got these salt deposits on the scalp, you're gonna get like this gunk that could potentially lead to clogged follicles, irritation, inflammation, and then eventually hair fall. So that's kind of like the path that could happen when it comes to sweat affecting the scalp and potentially the hair as well because it can dry out the hair. Now, with that being said, what are some things you can do to avoid these potential damages and dryness that come from sweat? So if you work out every day consistently and you sweat a lot, what you can do is prior to your workout, spray like a liquid leave-in conditioner or a liquid moisturizer on your roots, on the length of your hair to prevent excessive dryness that can come from sweat. That's number one. Number two, you want to avoid co-washing only. You never want to just rely on co-washing as the only method to cleanse your hair and your scalp. You want to incorporate a shampoo or a clarifying shampoo at least once a month for the clarifying and once a week or once every two weeks for the shampoo, okay? And then last but not least, you definitely want to incorporate exfoliation and detox in your regimen. Something like this can also be done once every two months or once a month. And these things combined are gonna help prevent any potential problems that can come from sweat damaging the hair or sweat drying out the hair. So long story short guys, sweat isn't like a huge danger when it comes to natural hair. As long as you are doing what you should be doing on a preventative method, you'll be good to go, okay? Okay. All right guys, hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed this video and subscribe, make sure notifications are on to stay in the loop for more curly chemistry content and of course, of course, I have a question for you. What is your favorite way to care for your scalp? Is it doing ACV rinses? Is it doing scalp massages? Is it the exfoliation? What are you using to care for your scalp? Comment below, let me know, and I cannot wait to join the conversation with you. 
And my next video is gonna be focused on my favorite hair care products that I am enjoying right now. Shampoos, conditioner, leave-in, stylers, oils, all the things. So be sure to stay tuned for my next video. And of course, if you're interested in learning more about ingredients in the natural hair care industry in your hair, check out the Natural Hair Care Wisdom flashcards and the Curly Girls Got to Hair Care Ingredients. I have a link below for you with more information. And if you're interested in starting a hair care line, no matter where you are in the world, you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I have a link below for you as well. All right, guys, I love you, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.